Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm here speaking on behalf of my team, the Sphere, um, that are unfortunately unable to be here. And uh, their names are Victor Pedro Brandao from Brazil and Eric Bordelot. Um, so the Sphere is a community of um, circus artists, life artists, and researchers um, focused around um, the bond-making, risk-taking practices that are so deeply ingrained in the circus arts itself. And, um, <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> so, uh, I'll start again. So our aim is to establish um, new funding ecologies of life art through convivial, sorry, convivial participatory design um, with financial implications. Um, our vision encompasses relational techniques that enable us gradually to um, unlearn capitalist axioms. Um, we've been studying value in the context of the circus arts, or basically the abundance that the circus arts brings within it. And um, we've established a few principles that run through our ecosystem like a red thread. Um, one of them is interdependence, which is why we believe that we need to build systems that account for intergenerational wealth. And um, the other is um, indeterminacy, as um, I would like to paraphrase uh, Fred Norton here, that we owe one another the indeterminate. And um, yeah, I guess we did establish that in our protocols. Um, we built skin in the game protocols for so-called self-collecting uh, ensembles. Um, we have um, funded successfully a series of new um, life arts, new life art works, according to a particular protocol. Um, and in that protocol, artists remake the work of other artists. We're now at the end of that cycle, and a new cycle starts in which we are starting to build memory, and we are ex extending that memory into our collective. But um, maybe now I would like for Andrea to speak about how that feels like. This is one of our circus artists um, who has created the first seed in our ecosystem. We have two seeds and we have five derivatives of that seed. So um, I guess this speaks to the idea that we do not... This is my trick, this is my thing, not this is yours. The simple idea to, instead of protect, instead of shield your work from others, to please take, please allow others to to reformulate, to, to share the same practice and to grow uh, upon each other. This is so much needed in circus. My name is Anne. Right, so um, I guess it is to enhance the idea of life art being a, a really like relational experiential practice and not one that is based on commodities and that's something that we wish to preserve to a certain degree. We also encompass uh, NFTs in our system, but they do like in that sense not work as classical commodity. Um, we engage in different types of um, soft protocols and different types of uh, techniques to enhance um, like working with the knowledge of our contours or of our margins, one of which is a quadratic voting, which I think is even radical exchange native. Um, <laughs> Others are about um, embodied mechanism art, and um, all of those are still grounded in uh, a particular like hard protocol, or uh, in that sense, it used to be our karmic funding mechanism. Yeah, so um, this is our ecosystem, which you probably cannot read. <laughs> um, but you might be able to see that part of our ecosystem is the anarchiving process, which has to do with artists um, finding ways to um, deliver their own practice onto the next artist that will remake their work. Um, which, well, we definitely take, sorry, we definitely do dis distinctions between um, like documents and uh, 
and ways in which we gesture forward, um, which is now. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is um, also, well, I think it's easy to see that in the next one. Okay, so we've now arrived at the end of our three year cycle, and we are um, starting to um, create a sort of alternative archive of ourselves. We believe that um, each institution needs memory in order to speculate about the next years about their institution. Um, sorry. <laughs> and um, so every institution needs memory in order to project themselves into the future. And we believe that we must change the ways in which we collect our memory, as memory collects and recollects value and shapes value in the long term. Just as much as how we collect value, uh, sorry, how we collect our memory, impacts the way in which our network is able to um, enhance its divinatory practices, um, which every network and every institution does in a way, through assembly meetings and all kinds of other things. Um, the archiving game is a dynamic, participatory, open canvas where communities' memories and creativity are continuously reimagined. It is scalable enough to host other organizations that are in the same gravity zone. And that in itself is a technique of inclusion um, because we would like to touch on the contours of our knowledge and that's why we build this infrastructure in which we can address other institutions that sort of relate to us. We invite participants to mint fragments that branch in and out of the sphere's creative journey. As a fractal, ever-evolving participatory canvas, the archiving game offers a canvas that is not only preserving, but also continuously reimagining its own collective memory. At the same time, it's also important to say that this is a place of informality, a place of receptivity, which is um, reconfiguring the place in which further on things will be coded, things will be in upcoming cycles, taking decisions and so on. So in that sense, we wish to create the conditions for self-collecting of ensembles, digital ensembles, tribes, communities. And we do so with fragments. Um, fragments are markers of subjective experience of an event. Um, they're not the sort of like monolithic commodities um, as archives usually encompass. We see them as transitional relational objects. Funds generated through the interaction with the smart contracts come through the common pool and also to the anarchivists themselves, fostering a self-sustaining ecosystem with a sense of interdependency. The anarchiving game makes a um, HUMS-like database um, that can be expanded on not only through um, our community, but our communities. So um, these are some of the design principles that matter to us, like receptivity, memory, informality, skin in the game. And um, lastly, I'll say that the anarchiving game allows us to speculate on the next years of organization and to transmit that knowledge through an interconnected experience. Thank you.